Konnichiwa everyone and welcome to the class. Well, are you ready today for the class? Are you ready to learn Japanese? Well, we have done a lot of things in our previous classes. We have learnt a lot of particles, lot of vocabulary, lot of verbs. In our last class, we did uh, verbs in mass form and masen form. So, well today we will do mashita form which is the past tense of the verb. And also with that we will do new particles, again some new vocabulary for you and some new kanji characters here in the class right away. But before that I would like, like to ask you one thing, have you done your homework? Have you done the assignments that I had given you? Well, then you can check them right away whether what you have done is right or not. So, here we are. The first assignment was write kanji characters for the underlined words. So, the words were given here. You have done these kanji characters in previous classes. It is just a revision with what you have done in your previous class. So, please. You can see Kawakami is a name, Tanaka is also a name, Mikan wa ni hyaku goju en desu, ni hyaku goju en. The next one is, Kyo wa getsu yobi desu, getsu is over here which means month you have already done, you can check it out. Roku ju sansai, roku ju sansai. Ki, ki, o ki. Nihon go krasu wa yoji kara desu. Nihon is what you are supposed to write, yo ji. Ima gogo ichiji desu, gogo. Kore wa watashi no hon desu. So, you can see ki and hon are very similar. All you need to do is cut the ki and hon is made. Well, the next assignment is again a simple one match group A with group B. So, you can see if you have done it properly over here, my kawa, otona, otona means an adult, gogo, Juppun, Kazan, Hatsuka, Hatsuka you will see is the 20th and you will not say ni junichi, but Hatsuka for 20th that is an exception. So, please remember that. Hyakuen, Nihon, Tsuki, Hondana, Hondana is a bookshelf, Kawa and Hito. So, well, this was your assignment too. You can check it. Well, this assignment is there are a lot of pictures, and you were to practice with your partner, ask about his daily schedule, or tell him about your daily schedule. So, well, look at the picture and see what he is doing. It says, Rokuji ni okimasu. 
the exercises for you to practice verbs. Rokuji ni okimasu. And as aim is given over here, gozen rokuji ni okimasu. Then you have him studying. So, what is it? Gozen hachiji ni kaisha e ikimasu. So, well, over here he could be studying or working in office. So, he says, Gozen hachiji ni kaisha e ikimasu. I go to office at 8 o'clock. And then, Tanaka san, who is our friend all through our lectures, is eating over here. So, well, Juniji yonju gohu ni hiru gohan o tabemasu. And because PM is given, so well, gogo could be added. Then you have him drinking tea or coffee. So let us see what it is. Gogo, PM is given. Gogo, yoji sanjuppun ni kocha o nomimasu. Nomimasu is for drinking and ni is for time. So, always after time ni will be added and kocha of course is tea. And then we have Tanaka san going back home. What time is it? Shichiji ni uchi e kaerimasu. Gogo shichiji ni uchi e kaerimasu. And then Again eating food and this would be dinner time, dinner so well. Hachiji ju gohun ni ban gohan o tabemasu. And then he is watching TV so well. Kuji kara juji made terbi o mimasu. And again PM could be added. And then the clock says 11 o'clock over here. It is showing time. So we can say Tanaka san wa gogo ju ichiji ni nemasu. So this is how you have your schedule. You can ask your friend nanji ni okimasu ka? Nanji ni nemasu ka? Nanji ni uchi e kaerimasu ka? And any of the things that are listed over here. Now, there was another assignment. This is a picture over here of Tanaka san, we can say, doing a lot of things. So, let us see what he is doing or people, different people over here are doing. So, the first one is This over here, of course, this is a single picture, but we can take it as two for practice. And the first one is tabako o suimasu. Tabako is cigarettes or cigar o suimasu. So, smoking a cigar. Then the second one is Tanaka san wa eiga o mimasu. He is watching a film. Then we have Hon o yomimasu. Yomimasu is read. Then, ongaku o kikimasu. Kikimasu is listen. Ongaku is music, as you can see from the picture. And then we have Tanaka san, we can call him. He has a guitar in his hand. He is playing the guitar. So, guitar o hikimasu, which is hikimasu is play. And then we have this boy or Tanaka san again playing with football. Asobi mas. Asobi mas is play. And then we have aruki mas, which is walk or ikimas means go somewhere. So you have verbs listed over here, different verbs. You can look at the picture and practice this with your partner. 
you can see over here when did you come to Kanpur? When? When of course you know is Itsu. Did you come to Kanpur? Itsu Kanpur. A ki ma shta ka. You have done verbs in mas form which is present and masen which is negative and present as well. So, well iki mas and iki ma sen. So, remove the mas and put masen for negative. Now, iki ma shta remove the masen and put mashta for past tense. So, in a similar manner kimas kimas ki ma sen and ki ma shta. This is past for to come. You can practice all the other verbs as well in a similar manner. So, over here this is what we are going to do today. We are going to practice verbs in past tense. Well, listen to this dialogue now and see how much you can understand from the dialogue and after that we will do it right here in class. Tanaka san, itsu kanpur e kimashita ka? Kyonen kimashita. Deri kara densha de kimashita ka? Iie, hikoki de kimashita. Hikoki de deri kara kanpur ma de ichi jikan desu ne? Hai, ichi jikan kakarimasu. Indo no sekatsu wa dou desu ka? Watashi wa daijoubu desu. Shitsure desu ga, nihon jin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne? Are wa... Ah, are mo daijoubu desu. So, well, I am sure you could make out that the dialogue was between two people. Over here you can see who those two are, Rao san and Tanaka san. Rao san is asking Tanaka san a lot of things. So, well, we will see what he is asking him. I will just read the dialogue right away and then explain. Tanaka san, itsu kanpur ekimashita ka? Kyonen kimashita. Deri kara densha de kimashita ka? Iie, hikoki de kimashita. Hikoki de deri kara kanpur made ichi jikan desu ne? Hai, ichi jikan kakarimasu. Indo no seikatsu wa dou desu ka? Watashi wa daijoubu desu. Shitsure desu ga, Nihon jin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne? Are wa a, are mo daijoubu desu. So, well there are a lot of uh, new words over here and there is verb in past tense as well and a few um, you can see expressions also. So, we will discuss them right away. Over here, Tanaka san, itsu kanpur e kimashita ka? Now, we have done ikimas, which means go, go somewhere. Then you have also done this verb kairimas, which means to return. Now, there is a new verb over here, kimas. These two verbs are in group 1. This is in group 3 of the verb division. Well, this is a new verb over here, kimas. This is when you go somewhere, ikimas. This is when you return as I told you earlier either to your home or to your country or to wherever you are staying at that time. Now, this verb 
also means come and you will use this verb when you are present at that point as over here Tanaka san is present in Kanpur, he is here. Rao san is also here in Kanpur. So, then what does he say? Tanaka san itsu Kanpur e kimashita ka? When did you come to Kanpur and not when did you go to Kanpur? Please remember this is very, very important when you are present at a certain point, when you are talking about that place, then always verb kimas is used. Tanaka san says, kyo nen kimashita? I came last year. Deri kara densha de kimashita ka? You have done this particle de earlier in one of the previous lessons for mode of transport particle de, densha de kimashita. Rao san says, deri kara densha de kimashita ka? Did you come by train? Iie hikoki de kimashita. I came by plane. Hikoki de deri kara kanpur made ichi jikan desu ka? Now, this is a new word for you used with time meaning span, meaning time period, time spent over a certain activity. Ichiji kan over here. We will do this, practice this a little later. Hai, ichiji kan kakarimasu. Kakarimasu is it takes that much time. Hai, ichiji kan kakarimasu. It takes one hour. Indo no seikatsu wa dou desu ka? How do you find living in India? Watashi wa daijoubu desu. Oh, it's all right with me. Shitsure desu ga, nihonjin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne. Again, a simple phrase which we have done earlier. Shitsure desu ga. I am sorry for asking so directly, but nihonjin wa ohashi de tabemasu ne. Ohashi is chopsticks. De tabemasu ne. So, this particle de over here is what we are going to do. This is similar to this one densha de, but usage is a little different over here. Densha de, when it is used, it is for mode of transport. Hashi de, when it is used, when you perform an activity with the help of something. So, hashi de tabemas, I eat with the help of chopsticks. Areva and he leaves the question incomplete. Ah, are mo daijobu desu. Oh, I am all right with that also. So, now we will practice all of it that we have done here. This is, of course, written in the script and the translation or explanation is in English. Now, as I just told you, we have done verbs in negative and present form. Today, we will do verbs in past form. Now, look at this sentence, watashi wa Delhi e ikimasu. I will go to Delhi or I am about to go to Delhi. For the negative, of course, as I told you, it is watashi wa Delhi e ikimasen. I will not go to Delhi. Now, for the past tense, how will you use it as I told you over here? Ikimasu, ikimasen and of course, once you remove masen for past, you can put ikimashita. So, watashi wa Delhi e ikimashita. I went to Delhi. Now, you have done uh, time expressions like kino, ototoi, senshu, kyonen. So, you can use all these ototoi, senshu, 
Kionen, Kino. You can use all these and say Watashi wa Ototoi Deri e Iki Mashita Watashi wa Senshu Deri e Iki Mashita Watashi wa Kionen Deri e Iki Mashita or you could say, Watashi wa kino deri e ikimashita. Now, instead of Watashi wa again, you can practice this. Again, over here, you can use any of the vocabulary that you have done. For example, you could say, Tanaka-san or Tomodachi or Sensei. Tanaka san wa ototoi deri e ikimashita. Tomodachi wa kyonen deri e ikimashita. Sensei wa kino deri e ikimashita. And of course, deli can again, you can change the name of the place and make new sentences with that. So, this is how mashita is going to be used. You can replace the verb also later on. Well, you could practice the verbs with me over here. Ikimashita. Kaerimashita. Tabemashita. Nomimashita. Yomimashita. Nemashita. Benkyo shimashita. All the verbs that you have done in mas form and masen form, you can now practice those in mashita form. Now you can see something on your screens over here. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made nemashita. Oto san wa juji juji kara juniji made. Hata raki mashita. Oto san wa juji kara juniji made hataraki mashita. So you can use time like this and use the verb in mashita form. For example, oto san wa kuji kara juji made. Shimbun o yomi mashita. Shimbun o yomi mashita. So, oto san wa or sensei wa. Sensei wa kuji kara juji made shimbun o yomi mashita. So, you can practice like this with time from a certain time till a certain time, some activity was performed. Tanaka san wa kuji kara ju ichi ji han made nemashita. Tanaka san wa ju ichi ji kara goji made nemashita. Tanaka san wa ichi ji kara roku ji made nemashita. And of course, with time, as we have done a number of times, you can also use gozen and gogo -go and practice with your partner. Also, now what you can do is, as you can see over here, 
Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made nemashita is what we did last time. You can change the verb over here. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made kikimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made mimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made yomimashita. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shimashita. But these do not seem complete somehow. So, what did they do from 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock? Kikimashita. But what did they listen? So, well, what you can do now is Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made ongaku o kikimashita. That is how you can put it. You have done particle o also last time. So, you can put it over here. Again, you can try. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made terebi o mimashita. Terebi is television, terebi o mimashita. Mimashita is to see. Once again, Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shimbun o yomimashita. Shimbun is newspaper, yomimas is to read. Once again, Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shukudai o shimashita. Shukudai is homework. Shimashita, shimas is to do. So, shimashita is did. Tanaka san wa hachiji kara juji made shukudai o shimashita. So, you can practice like this later on. And also, of course, you can again add gozen and gogo -go before time and practice with your partner. Revise your verbs like this, learn your verbs like this, learn the new vocabulary, learn to use particle o, learn to use particles kara and made and verb in past form. Again, we are going to practice verbs in past form. So, over here there are a few pictures for you. Look at the pictures and ask what they did yesterday. Hachiji han kara goji made nani o shimashita ka? Hachiji han kara Goji made shigoto o shimashita. So, you can ask this question from this time till this time, what did he do? Well, from this time till this time, whatever is in the picture, whatever you can see in the picture, try to say that. We will practice the second one as well. Well, from 9 till 11.30. Tanaka san wa kuji kara juichi ji han made nani o shimashita ka? Tanaka san wa kuji kara juichi ji han made benki o shimashita. So, well, he is reading. So, you can say benki o shimashita. Benki o shimashita. There is one more for you. Hachiji han kara kuji made nani o shimashita ka? So, you can give this person over here a name. It could be Tanaka san or Maikawa san or any other name that you want to put. So, Rao san wa hachiji han kara kuji made nani o shimashita ka? Rao san wa hachiji han kara kuji made well, what is it? Tell me quickly. Shimbun o yomimashita. So, now you practice this. Tell me what it is. Those are niji kara yoji made. Hai, those are asobi 
ました。二時から四時まで遊びました。So I hope you've got it in past tense now. You've understood how to make past tense for verbs, how to use them. Well, practice them with your partner at home so that you remember them and can use them easily later on in conversation. Now, in our conversation, we had particle they. One form of particle they we have already done, we have studied, which is mode of transport. By what method, by what means you travel from one place to another? Generally, by train, by plane, by cycle, by ship. Whatever mode of transport you use, well, particle they is going to be used at that place. Now over here, we have another usage of particle they, which is with the help of something you perform another activity. As is given over here, empitsu de kakimas, hashi de tabemas. Well. Wata shi wa pen de kaki mas. So I write with a pen, with the help of a pen. Now I use a pen to perform an activity. So pen can be replaced with pen shiru. Pen shiru or en pitsu. Watashi wa hashi, ohashi, chopsticks de tabemasu. So, watashi wa pen de kakimasu. Watashi wa en pitsu de with the help of I write. Watashi wa spoon de. Spoon de tabemas. Watashi wa ohashi de tabemas. With the help of these things, I perform a certain activity. So, over here, depending on what you are using, the verb is going to change. Tabemas or kakimas or any other verb that you want to use, you can use. So, particle de is going to be used. With these verbs over here, and what tool you are using to perform a certain activity, as is given over here, empitsu de kakimas, hashi de tabemas. Now you can practice. Well, look at the picture and see what the gentleman is doing. What can you see? What is he doing? He is talking on the phone. So what? Is he using to talk? He is using a telephone. So, denwa de over here, denwa de hanashimas. So, you can add denwa over here. Denwa is a phone. Denwa de hanashimas. Denwa de hanashimas. You can see denwa de hanashimas. Well, look at this picture now and see what they are doing. They are writing with a pencil. So, empitsu de kakimas as is given over there. What is this gentleman doing? Tanaka san wa ohashi de, ohashi de gohan o tapemas. Ohashi de gohan o so, well, ohashi chopsticks are being used for tabemas. So, this is how you will use particle de, what tool is being used to perform a certain activity. Now, we have been doing time. Kuji kara, kuji kara, juji made. 
11時から11時半まで3時から3時から7時まで、okay? 午後4時から5時まで You perform a certain activity 9時から10時まで勉強します9時から10時まで勉強します10時から11時半まで話します Which is to talk. 3時から7時まで寝ます。To sleep. 4時から5時まで遊びます。Well, during a certain time, during a certain period, you perform a certain activity. So, what is this called? This Time span, this period, it is called kan. Kuji kara juji made benkyo shimas. So you study for an hour from 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock for an hour for a period of one hour. So that period of one hour is called kan. Kan. Okay. Kan over here as is written, Kan denotes time duration. For example, Niji means 2 o'clock, whereas Niji Kan means 2 hours spent in doing some work. So, Watashi wa Niji Kan nemashita, Sanji Kan terubi o mimashita, Nishu Kan yasumimashita. So, over here you can see. 9時から10時まで勉強しました。So, 1時、1時間勉強しました。11時から11時半まで話しました。This is just 30分、分。話しました。3時から7時まで寝ました。そう、4時間寝ました。4時から5時まで遊びました。1時間 for a period of one hour for four hours for one hour for that span of time. Patashiva performed this activity. So, please learn to use kan. So, you can tell for exactly how long you performed a certain activity. Over here, now we can practice. After number, you have to use kan. After time, Kan is used and not Ichikan ji. Please remember it comes after the time. Over here you have Ichiji kan, Niji kan, Ichiji kan han, Niji kan jupun, Sanji kan. Yoji kan, Goji kan, Rokuji kan, Shichiji kan, Hachiji kan, Kuji kan, Juji kan han. So, this is how it goes and over here you will see that yo or 4 o'clock is yo and not yon or shi. It is yoji and again for shichiji it is shichiji and not nanaji.
please remember that. In a similar manner for 9 o'clock it is kuji and not kyuji. So, please practice this and remember it properly. Now, how to use kan? You can practice over here. You have the time shichiji kara hachiji made nani wo shimashita ka? Shichiji kara hachiji made denwa de hanashimashita. Nanji kan hanashimashita ka? Ichiji kan hanashimashita. Again you have time. Ichiji kara sanji made nani wo shimashita ka? Benkyo shimashita. Ja nanji kan benkyo shimashita ka? Niji kan benkyo shimashita. So you can ask your partner now in a similar manner. Nani wo shimashita ka? Hai? Nanji kan nemashita ka? So you can tell. Sanji kan nemashita. And practice this one with your partner. Hachiji han kara juji made nani wo shimashita ka? So what are you going to say? Terubi wo mimashita. So what should your next question be? Nanji kan terubi wo mimashita ka? Ichi ji kan han terubi wo mimashita. So please practice it like that. Now we have been doing enough of practice here in class. There is a simple expression for you. We have done this expression earlier also. Expression sumimasen. Sumimasen as I told you earlier was um, excuse me sumimasen ima nanji desu ka. Well, this is a little different. This means sorry and you will see how. What are they doing? They are standing in a in a train in a subway and it is crowded probably and then B san somehow manages to hurt him, step on his foot. So, what does he do? Well, he says itai. It means it is hurting itai. Itai means it is hurting and then once he hears that what does he say? He says sumimasen I am sorry. So well you know this expression, you know this word, you know it as excuse me, you can use it as sorry also depending on the situation. Now lot of practice, lot of lot of new words, lot of uh, grammar over here. Now simple, just look at these kanji characters and uh, try to memorize them. You have done this word shu in sen shu, kon shu, shu as in sen shu, kon shu, rai shu. So well, this is what we are going to do today, shu. You remember doing this? Ichi, this ju, do. So, one kanji here, there is another kanji over here. This covers it, and this is a radical which has a meaning. So, this is how you make it over here. It is not in proportion at the moment, like this. This is shu. Shu means weak. Now, this radical means road or pass or through going through continuous over here. Now, this character comes from a paddy field where rice is all spread over and it takes a while, maybe, maybe a week, 
may be more, may be a little less to collect all the rice and put it back into the bag. So, thus we have shu, which is a period of 7 days for this kanji for shu, which is a period of 7 days. That is how long it would take to collect rice, which is scattered all over in a rice field. So, this is shu. I will make it once again for you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, it is an 11 stroke character like this, like this. I hope you got it right. It is an 11 stroke character over here for you. Shu. There are other kanjis also. We will do that. You can see it is an 11 stroke character. There is another one, kan. This word kan, which you did just now, means period of time. If you remember, we did this character. This means sun. Now, if you just elongate this a little and make another Nichi over here and do this, does it look like something to you? Well, it means a gate and this character Nichi, which means sun. So, basically what it means is the sun between two gates, which is means in between meaning either and also means khan. So, over here once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, this is khan for you over here. a 12 stroke character. Now, we have been doing this word denwa a lot. Denwa means phone, telephone. Denwa is made out of a lot of lot of uh, kanji characters, 2, 3 kanji characters combined to make one character. So, over here this means ame, which is rain. This is then this means to speak and this means tongue. So, then wa this whole character means to speak. So, you talk through this. So, this is a denwa please. I will do the explaining of these two characters later not today. I just want you to learn this word which is denwa and remember these this kanji for denwa that is all. We will do the characters later. Once again I will make it for you. Then, wa. Please remember, it's right here. This is a word you have done, so I want you to remember the word with this character. Now, some kanji characters. These words we have covered in our previous classes and in this class as well. My shoe. Kon shoe. Sen shu, Rai shu, Shumatsu. Shumatsu is a new word. Shumatsu means weekend. Nishu kan, a period of two weeks. So, you can learn this new vocabulary.
there is more vocabulary which we covered in the lesson. Shimbun, Ongaku, Shukudai, Kakarimas, Kirimas, Oyogimas, Ohashi. Denva. Well, now you have some work to do at home. You have your assignments here, group A and group B. You have to match these. The words in Japanese are given here, and the meanings are here in group B. Match group A with group B. And then you look at the pictures, what are these people doing? So, I want you to write verbs over here, what these pictures show. Look at the picture and practice with your partner by asking him or her about his daily schedule. So, over here we have to practice time expressions that we have done. And now, of course, you could always ask your ask your partner from morning till evening what time they perform what activity. So, this way you can practice your verbs, you can practice your time, you can practice the vocabulary that we have done and you will feel comfortable in conversation. So, with that we will end the class today. There is a lot of work for you to perform at home, to do at home. So, do that and come prepared for the next class. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.